are in the South Atlantic on board His Majesty's ship Carlisle, bound for Tristan da Cunha, the loneliest island in the world, just 2,000 miles from the nearest mainland. Once in a while, yearly perhaps, a visiting ship brings supplies, for the islanders cannot grow everything they need. The settlement was started over a hundred years ago by William Glass, his wife and two children. Survivors from shipwrecks have made the island their home, and today the population of 163 lead a communal, healthy and happy life. And aren't they glad to see their rare visitors, who deliver, amongst other things, the mail? What an event this is, their only touch with the outside world. Of course, the inhabitants are of mixed nationalities, though English predominates, a fact that is evidenced in the little English church. Physically, they are a big, sturdy people, free from many of the diseases, even income tax collectors, which beset civilization. Visiting medical officers say that Tristan da Cunha is possibly the healthiest place in the world, so healthy that it is full of oldest inhabitants. Naturally, methods are primitive, but not worried by time or production costs. A wonderful people, contented, hospitable, who view our departure with calm resignation till the next arrival may be a year hence.